Hoylake played host to the championship in 1967. Third round leader was the popular Argentinian Roberto de Vicenzo. Having competed in the Open since 1948, the closest he'd come to winning the Clallet Jug was second place in 1950. Recording a 67 on day three, South African Gary Player started two shots off the lead, but a 74 ended his challenge. A further stroke behind was the defending champion, Jack Nicholas, and after a birdie here at the treacherous 16th, Nicholas was battling to keep hold of his title. Playing behind Nicholas, De Vicenzo had this putt for par. He was now nine under with only three holes to play. After a missed birdie on 17, Nicholas regained his composure to play a superb final hole. A beautiful arm from the defending champion. This for a buddy. Nicholas finished on eight under par, 280, but he would now have to wait for De Vicenzo to make a mistake. But on the last day, the man from Buenos Aires held his game together. And any fears that De Vicenzo at 44 had missed his chance of open glory magically disappeared at the 16th. Under tremendous pressure, De Vicenzo produced a magnificent three-wood second. The result, a birdie, and once again, he was ten under par. Player would finish in third place, tied with the Yorkshireman, Clive Clark, on 284. But the day undoubtedly belonged to the humble Argentinian, who posted a final score of 278, 10 under par and two strokes clear of Nicholas. Well, many congratulations, Roberto. It's wonderful to see you win it at last. Thank you very much. I'm uh, very, very happy to win, and I feel like an Englishman today. So many people pulling for me, and I feel like I'm home. Thank you.